Okay, I want to talk about something I was speaking about earlier about my comment about ugly women and whatever the case may be. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to apologize because, well, actually, no, I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to say that I do understand that I may have been somewhat out of out of place, and um, you know, so I want to clarify something, okay? Because there, are a lot of people were in my inbox, you know, a lot of feminists and all this stuff, and. Oh, you know, God don't make ugly, and God this, and and all women are beautiful. No, no, they're not. Um, I'm going to say this, because a lot of women can actually naturally get out of bed and be beautiful, be very pretty, and it it happens, you know. Sometimes uh, some people just bless like that. It's a blessing, you know. Other people get out of bed looking like, well... Yeah. So, you know, but, you know, my whole thing is that if you get out of bed and you look a hot mess and you stay looking like a hot mess all day, then you got to have an attitude to compensate, sweetie. If you are, if you know you're black and you kind of look borderline purple or blue or you're, you're, you're just matching the color of a fucking Xbox, don't wear gold fucking lipstick. Okay. If you have the hair on the back of your neck that's as nappy as Shabba Rank's chest hair, but you claiming you got straight hair on the top of your head, get it together. See, what takes a, what takes a woman to be pretty, beautiful, is presentation, upkeep. It's not, I'm, I'm, I can only imagine. I've never been a woman, never tried to be a woman, never dressed up, none of that stuff. But I can only imagine what it takes to maintain yourself as a woman. Okay? It's something that almost has to be a habit. You know, to get up, get ready, you know, take care of your nails, your feet, your hair, your makeup, you know, so on and so forth. Try not to go overboard. Maintain your natural beauty, your skin care, and, you know, things of that, to that nature. I can only imagine that to be beautiful, to be pretty, it takes work. But you know what? You're, you're the most beautiful creature on the earth. That's your job. Period. That's your job. If you have a natural beauty, you still have to upkeep it. From the beginning of time, women are upkeeping it, no matter what you look at. Look at cave women. Who cared? Who cared? Well, men had an animal instinct. We'd put, it, put our penis in anything. But to have an attitude when, you know... You, you, first of all, don't give me an attitude. If I comment on your picture or something like that, don't say, you know, some crappy mess like, oh, you just thirsty. No, I'm not thirsty. I'm giving you a compliment. Don't be rude. That's just ignorance. I call it ignorance because you just don't know no better. You can't know any better. If a man gives you a compliment, a man opens a door for you, a man offers you a ride, a man, you know, not every man's a rapist, not every man's a pervert, you know what I mean? There are men out there that actually are genuinely gentlemen because we have been raised that way. There are men out there that have home training and family values. So therefore, you know, if you're going to come at me ugly, then I'm going to speak up on it, okay? You may not think you're ugly. Well, guess what? You're probably bitter because you have the, the low end of a man at your home who probably has no home training, who probably isn't a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? Who you look at every day hoping that one day he'll change. Listen, this ain't the lotto. All right? This ain't the lotto. Okay, if, if things ain't changing, maybe it's you who needs to change. Change yourself. Change your outlook. Change your life. Once you do that, everything else, I promise you, everything else will fall into play. So, I'm not going to apologize for my comment because I still feel the same way. But I will say, if you're going to be a lady, conduct yourself as one. And also, keep yourself up to date. Period. Thank you.